Oh, hello, hello, and happy Friday to all of my amazing Capricorns. This is Queen Amura coming to you with a very special reading on today. Capricorns, let's get right into your Friday reading. Hopefully you all are having a great day. I know you are because that's the intention you said. Let's get into it, Capricorns. Let's go, goats, greatest of all time. You are, let's do it. This is a general reading, so please take what resonates with you. If you're interested in a personal reading, my information is down below. Happy birthday to all of my Capricorns. We are still in Capricorn season. I love it, love it, love it. So Capricorns, I'm just a question right off top. <laughs> Listen, it's not even, a, actually, you know what? It's not even a question. I'm not even going to do trivia questions because those just seem to be too easy and I just try to make it fun. So first and foremost, before we get into your general reading, we don't even talk about Mercury going retrograde. We can talk about the number 10, just a little bit, and it's not going to be extended. So I'm going to keep it short and sweet. So the first I I, um, I I put up a, I, I partnered with a um, with a um, a business, um, and I put their information on my Instagram channel. They sell artisan soaps and things like that. So I just received more of those. So the first five people who text me, hey, I want the artisan soap. That's all you have to text me. I want the artisan soap. The first five people because listen, when we did the book giveaway. Literally 51 people got a book. They went out. And so thank you all for you all have been sending me your messages saying, oh my God, I got my book in the mail. So I'm, I hope you enjoy it. It was autographed by the author. I literally bought the rest of her books. So if she has any more books to, you know, and I can get some more of her books and get her to autograph the books, I will be doing another announcement. But this is just for five artisan soaps. Like I said, I put the picture of the, um, and I attached the business information on my Instagram page. So go look at my Instagram channel, go look down, look through, you know, it's only like, I'm trying to remember when I posted it, but anyway, let's get into your reading. So the first five people just text me. Y'all have my number is down below. Okay, let's go. Most high God in the universe. Please give me a special reading for my amazing Capricorns as it relates to every area of their lives, specifically in areas of power and intellect, money and wealth, creativity and emotions and spirituality and where my Capricorns need to take action yes capricorns let's go like i said i love 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 it hey capricorns we're going to talk a little bit about third eye not this actual book but third eye right y'all know what the third eye is right it's a it's um also the brow chakra people heard like here the third eye those with your perception is right there between your eyebrow up to the top of your head to your you know like when I say the top of your head, y'all know what I'm saying, right? <laughs> it's like you said the top of your head, right? <laughs> oh, it's from your eyebrows. Um, from like it's located between your eyebrows and it governs, you know, the area of your sinuses, that area, right? So yeah. All right, look, this is what we have going on, Capricorn. So we know Mercury is about to go retrograde. A lot of people go crazy during Mercury retrograde, like, because Mercury, Mercury is the planet, the communication planet, right? So you will hear things like, um, don't make any travel plans, you know, check your emails and text messages before you send them out. You know, you don't want any mixed signals going across the whole nine yards. So just be very careful. You can do some more reading up on Mercury retrograde if you like. But I want to just make sure you all stay focused, right? So I'm going to tell you some gemstones and crystals that you can get that resonates with your third eye and just keeping you focused, moving forward so you can see things from a higher perspective in the midst of all of these, you know, the planets that are currently retrograde. We have, um, we have several planets that are retrograde right now. And so we'll talk a little bit about those in just a second. But anyway, here we go. Ten of Wands. Yes, Ten of Wands. Three of Wands. There's a lot of fire there. We have the Knight of Swords. Did y'all see that? Knight of Swords. Yeah, okay. All right, we have the Ace of Swords. I need to pull out. I'm going to pull out my other um, um, cards. I've also given away um, <laughs> tarot cards during the giveaway. All right, we have the Lover's Cards. Because some of you all have really been thinking about starting, you know, starting uh, YouTube channels, reading cards, and the whole nine yards. And I'm like, go for it. Come on, we need other tarot card readers too. We have the Justice card, right? So, yes, somebody is severing ties with somebody that they love, right? So, first of all, congratulations to you. Congratulations, you've won. 
See, here's the thing. A lot of times people think, um, well, is it really a win? Is it really a win? Yes, it is. Because a lot of you all have gone through it, like really, really gone through some things where you have been burned on numerous occasions, right? So when I say it's a win, I mean a win in this sense. You are now more enlightened, right? How you chose, how the win came about, you probably wouldn't have chosen it that way, right? But it came about regardless, right? So I see a lot of people moving on. Here's the thing. You're not better. You're actually better. If you have a business, I'm seeing some of your businesses increasing. Again, your creativity is really, really heightened right now. So instead of somebody looking, you're learning how to balance out your own energy. And this right here is also too about balance, about balancing out your own energy. So if you're not going to court and you don't have a court date, this is about balancing out your own energies, Capricorn, like severing ties with things that were really weighing you down. Again, that were burning you. You're severing ties with that. You're wide awake right now. Your third eye is open. You got your regular two eyes, right? Then you got your third eye, right? Yet that third eye um, deals with expanded vision. You feel wiser. You feel you have balanced perception, both inwardly and outwardly. So you're seeing things from your divine masculine and divine feminine side, and you've decided, hey, I know how to nurture myself. So how many times do I need to be burned or how many times do I need to be enlightened, right? If you're burned, you're walking away bitter, right? Bunch of baggage. Nobody wants to be bothered with all of that, right? But if you are enlightened, like I see that you are, you're working away with a lot of wisdom and knowledge, right? Moving forward. Like, okay, sometimes I just need to move a little quicker and in, 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 in nurturing myself instead of staying in a relationship. Relationship could be a job, a romantic relationship or whatever, that doesn't appreciate me, right? Or even family members or whatever doesn't appreciate me. So I need to go ahead and sever ties with that and take some time for me, right? Yeah, take some time for me, right? So I'm seeing a lot of you all have your feet firmly planted in the ground, recharging from the ground because you're an earth sign. But I also see this fire in you where you're expecting great things to happen, right? And so the more focused you become, that's when you'll start to see the breakthrough. I'm talking about laser focus, like racing towards your goals and racing towards your dreams, right? Yeah, you've gotten as far away from um, things where you just have to keep getting burned. Like you see what I'm seeing right now, I have to say this in lay terms for somebody. So what I'm seeing is that instead of you being nervous and scared about pursuing dreams, let's say for instance, you're on a job and it's just like, it it's almost feels like somebody's just pushing you out. Like you don't get along with your, your, um, your manager. You don't get along with your, um, colleagues. You don't get along with X, Y, and Z. And so you just feel like you're being pushed out of the door. So instead of you saying, and it comes in a form of feeling like you're being burned by people, people just not all kinds of stuff happening. And so instead of you being bitter, you're saying, you know what? I probably need to go ahead and, and pursue the thing that I've been talking about pursuing, Right. Or if you're in a romantic relationship with somebody, somebody could have been in a relationship with a Gemini that they were going through a divorce with or whatever. And you're instead of you being bitter and because you're moving on, instead of you being bitter, you're actually better. You're like, you know what? I'm actually better. So it is a win for you in a sense. And we're not just talking about just a court win. It's like, okay, oh, I won and that person lost. No, not that. That's, that's lower vibration. We're talking about a win in terms of you opening up your third eye, you you have you you feel wiser now. You feel more at peace. I see somebody getting some better sleep. I see somebody learning how to put those emotions away um, when you meet people and starting to vet energies. And you have a guardian angel that's like really protecting you. They have this this fire ring of protection all around you, just making sure you stay alert, not bitter but better. You stay alert, right? That third eye is wide open and getting as far away from hostile energy as possible, right? Just again, to protect you. So that hostile, it, it's amazing. It's, it's amazing when we're going through severing ties and moving on from something. Some people are in a very vulnerable space and it's almost like people, like animals trying to come and attack a wounded animal, like a, a wounded inner, a wounded energy, right? Like people are just coming at you left and right. This is what your guardian angel is protecting you from. It's like those people running up on you at work, 
you know, wanting to say something, just wanting to just kind of like dig their heels in you, that kind of thing, when you just want to focus on work, 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 and just healing through certain things, right? Family members calling you, just starting stuff. Again, Mercury is going retrograde, so it's a lot of you all who are in a very vulnerable space, but your guardian angel is protecting you from the hostility because, again, um, messages are coming through to them, messages are coming through to you, not just somebody you left behind. It could be family members, it could be friends, it could be colleagues at work or whatever, but this is what your guardian angel is protecting you from is hostility during this time. That's what I'm saying. Y'all just want to stay focused and be and put those emotions away and look at things from a very logical standpoint. Start vetting energies coming your way. So let's say, for instance, you're not having a hard time at work and you have employees that work under you, right? And you're going through a really rough time in your personal life. Listen, make an appointment. Don't just come busting through my door and my office like a three-year-old, right? Make an appointment. Right, because you need that time to kind of protect. Not, not only is your guardian angel protecting you, but you're also taking an active role in protecting yourselves, Capricorn. You see what I'm saying? Like you're putting the emotions away, so that if you need a minute to go outside and take a nice walk and recharge, get that um, sunlight on you, and just kind of sort of get that fresh air. That's exactly what you're doing. That's what I'm seeing that a lot of you all are doing. Just like you know, I. I I just need some time for me. You're not even asking for permission. You're just taking time, right? You're taking time, and I see you feeling very happy, magnetic, and free. Again, you're on fire, right? I see your sleep getting a lot better. Why? Because you're not asking for permission to get rest. You are just taking it, right? You're taking your power back. You're protecting your peace at all costs. Azurite is a, a gemstone that opens the third eye. It enhances dreams, balance, and a new perspective. Indigo kyanite stimulates the pineal gland. It stimulates, um, it cleanses negativity. It purifies the body and lifts vibration. So this is what you're focusing on. You're focusing on keeping your third eye open. Those are just two, <clears throat> excuse me, two stones that I tossed out there. Um, I don't know if you all have heard of fluorite. It promotes intuition, interdimensional communication, and clear, unbiased reasoning. Again, you all are focusing on your inner peace. You're wiser now, right? Again, third eye, you're wiser. You have very clear perception. You're only focusing on your highest self right now. So even with all the messages that are coming through for... Um, for and I need to say this because some people see several people in this in this thing, right? This is your your um, divine masculine to your divine feminine, the little boy or the little girl in you, and this is all internal peace, your internal peace and happiness with yourselves. Just so we are all on the same same sheet of music here. All right, so <clears throat> so again, your guardian angel has been watching over you this entire time. So when you need a moment to just express yourself maybe through tears or frustration or whatever you can isolate yourself unapologetically but with your guardian angel is keeping all that hostility away from you somebody will be getting a protective order because of that we have abundance plans just so you can stay focused this is what you want to focus on your abundance planning and we're not talking about just the financial part of abundance planning we're talking about abundance of health abundance of wealth abundance of peace abundance of joy abundance of rest you know what i'm saying like abundance planning all the way around a time to give rather than to take, right? A time to give yourself what you have been giving to so many other people rather than take their junk, take their toxicity. You see what I'm saying? That is what I have for you. I will see you in a couple of days. Thank you for joining me. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're not and you're returning, Thank you for supporting my channel. And again, the first five people who text me, Capricorn, you will get the Artisan Soap, right? So again, if you want to see pictures of the Artisan Soap, go to my um, Instagram channel and you'll see it. And you'll also see the, um, um, I've also um, attached the owner of that, that company, that business, their information and their Instagram information there too. But that's what I have for you. Happy birthday again. I hope you all are still celebrating. I really do. Even if it's not your birthday, if it is your birthday today, happy birthday. 
But even if it's not your birthday today, I hope you all are still celebrating, like literally celebrate every single day of your lives. That's what I have for you, Capricorns. Bye.